So uh, you can encase your foam and batting in several ways, but I'm going to show you one simple way, which I call the glued sandwich method. Interiors, uh, we recommend a one inch unsprung bacon, which is what we sell. Here's a roll of it. So I cut from this roll two pieces of foam, maybe just slightly larger than this, uh, uh, two pieces of Dacron, excuse me, uh, just slightly larger than this piece of foam. It's very easy to cut with an ordinary scissors, okay? So here's a piece of batting that's just a little bit larger than my foam. So I'm gonna demonstrate for you the glued sandwich method. So what you can do is go ahead and lay your piece of batting on top of the foam, and then you'll grab your Cami 303. And then what we'll do is just peel this back halfway, like so. Take our Cami 303, and we'll go around the edges first. There you go. You can see it kind of comes out in sort of a yellow-orange color, so it's easy to see. Then we fill it in. One, two, three. And take your batting and lay it back over. You want to add it because it reduces the friction that foam and fabric have for each other, making the cover easier to stuff. Because this, of, of this friction reduction, your fabric is going to wear longer. Also, Dacron or polyester batting fills any slackness in how, uh, in how you upholster your cushion, so it makes you look better. That's the most important thing. And then lastly, as fabric ages, it begins to stretch. Without the polyester batting, you begin to develop waves across your cushion. But polyester batting, being a springer, springier, is always ready to fill up the slackness. All right?